Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We've got another action figure review for you today. We are back with the Black Series Kylo Ren Supreme Leader Kylo Ren from The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, so we're going to jump into it as ever. Do leave a like on the video if you enjoy it and subscribe to the channel for more. Um, so without further ado, let's get going. So what's going to come in the pack? So first of all, you're going to get a few different um, attachments for the cape to change out. Um, and then obviously you've got the lightsaber um, with the blade and then a uh, just a spare hilt. Um, I like that they've gone this way with it because um, obviously with the kind of um, broadsword style of Kylo's lightsaber, taking these little pieces out that you normally do with the Black Series hilt where you just interchange, plugging it in, um, could be catastrophic. I mean, like, if you lose those side parts, which is highly likely, or they just pop out, then, you know, it, it's it's just not the same. Um, so it's probably for the best they did that, so that was a good decision. Um, so, you know, taking a look at the the lightsaber, Kylo Ren's lightsaber, one of my, my uh, favorites, because it's so unique, it's so cool. Um, the hilt looks cool, um, just in general. They've not really got much detail on the hilt here, just the gunmetal gray and the kind of red um, cable that goes up the side um, and then this kind of piece sticking out here is what goes into his um, his belt rather than the just single peg that you normally get in the Jedi um, sort of uh, lightsaber um, connectors um, the the blade though looks fantastic I, I really love that they've kind of captured the kind of flickering flame look to Kylo's lightsaber blade um, his lightsaber always looks like it's kind of unstable uh, and they've really captured that here with the effect so that's really cool um, so you've got the lightsaber and then like I said you've got the just plain hilt it's the same hilt pretty much um, I would say that the paint is a little bit darker on the the blank hilt here but you can see like the red cable um, in terms of detailing it's got the sculpt detailing it's just got no weathering or differing colors but obviously um, his hilt is pretty much the same color on screen so you know I'm not expecting them to have um, an um, you know an amazing amount of detail in these tiny pieces because they are so small um, you know I just don't know how they would achieve that um, in terms of Kylo he looks awesome I mean Kylo Ren is one of the, the you know the coolest looking um, Sith Lords and one of the coolest looking characters I really love Adam Driver I think his portrayal was fantastic I think he's He's a really screwed on actor. I, I love the way he approaches it. You know, he takes it seriously. Um, he, he's a good person. You know, he, he's got good morals. Um, you know, he's he's been, uh, you know, he's been through some things in life, and it's really grounded him, um, which is nice to see in actors and actresses. I mean, you know, there's some actors and actresses that are amazing people. Don't get me wrong, but I think a lot of the industry um, is kind of it's it's influenced by what the industry does to you and wants from you and not a lot of people can um you know can live a normal life among that adam driver came into that role and was you know just focused head down i'm gonna do this piece justice and i think that's that's perfect you can't ask for any more um in terms of the 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 look um they have made his cape a rubberized kind of cape um, which it's one of those things personally I think they should have just gone soft goods because um, we've already had a couple of Kylos they're not amazing but there's some soft goods in there um, the fact that he's sculpted everywhere else is fine it's just if they'd have gone soft goods um, you know some faux leather or something I just think it would have been better this is great for posability in the sense that it is a textured cape like you can see that it's got the you know the wrinkles and the kind of weathering of the uh, um, kind of life you would imagine that a cape like this is seen in the Star Wars universe. You know, it's not perfect, it's not pristine. Could have done with some weathering on the bottom. I think the kind of singe marks you get um, in the sort of Jedi and Sith capes and stuff like that, um, just from you know various uh, various escapades. Um, what you do have though is this hood down look which again sculpted it looks great considering it's a rubber sculpt you know a rubberized sculpt it pops off you've got the two just pegs and then you've got a, a, a rubberized hood um, that can change out for it again 
as as rubberized sculpts go, it's really good. It's just more the fact of you can't pose him with it. If like if you know if I put this on now, um, you know it's quite hard to actually as well. It's quite hard to like line it up um, and get it to stay straight away. You've got to kind of find that kind of groove and then try not to disturb it. I mean, when you look at that, like that is a great sculpt. But other than to just have him, you know, have him stand here, it's not really helpful. And again, he looks great in it. It's it's sculpted well to him. Um, it's just more the fact of if you're doing a scene where, and we don't even have all the Knights of Ren in the Black Series line anyway, and I don't know if we will. But if you were doing a scene where he's standing there, looking ominous or speaking to an officer or something like that, then that would look great. But other than this, just standing still, I mean, because of the way the cape moves you can't pose him in it he can't move dynamically so i think the the sculpted cape is great in in some respects in the sense that it's you know with the technology being used and the materials it's a great sculpted cape it's just i think that they should have gone with the soft goods um sort of angle on it and i mean you could have i know like there's this manufacturing aspect of it of you're trying to make money and you're trying to do justice to something um, but also do it in a, in a cost-effective, profitable way, whatever. But now we're getting so many deluxes that are vi virtually the same as any other figure. They're just slightly bigger. Or, you know, we get a couple of accessories. Like, the Boba Fett Deluxe is the best deluxe sort of bang-for-buck money-wise because you get so many accessories with it. If you'd have done Kylo with, you know, a standard Kylo, but you'd have done the Supreme Leader Kylo, so the helmet is basically the differing factor is that it's the helmet with these new red lines. Um, if you'd have done a deluxe version where you get a soft goods cape, a, a standard cape, or you know, you get some some various little interchangeable pieces to make him more dynamic in that respect, I, I would go for it, I, I wouldn't mind. I mean, this guy was hard, hard to get your hands on if you didn't pre-order it, and um, that first wave kind of sold out pretty quick. I mean, I managed to pick him up recently, um, but, uh, on the second hand market and I was looking out for him a while ago and just could never find him I've never seen him in person um, and I took a chance and uh, managed to to find him um, and I'm, I'm really glad he's in the collection fantastic figure but um, I think the the selection there is kind of um, some to be desired let's put it that way I mean I'm going to and I'm in the process of kind of trying to make an aftermarket cape myself um, with some just uh, faux leather material that I picked up and you know there'll be a video on that and we'll see you know what that kind of looks like so it, you know in that respect maybe that's that's the answer is just get this figure with the sculpted cape and buy yourself a dynamic cape, uh, cape for you know your toy photography shops like I'm thinking or if your display you just want him to be more dynamic in a uh, fighting pose or, or something like that um, but moving on to you know so what, what we've got in the box moving on to um, the rest of the figure we'll put these to the side for now the the cape is probably not something that I will use really at all in my photography because just of the dynamic nature unless I'm doing a shot where you know he's he, I'm utilizing that he's just looking ominous and there's not much movement um, in terms of the lightsaber hilt and the lightsaber with the effect fantastic not a problem with that um, moving on to Kylo himself he looks awesome They've pretty much used, uh, reused the body and stuff like that, the sculpting. I'm okay with that because his, um, you know, his outfit didn't change uh, virtually at all during the the uh, sequel uh, films, and he's got a, a good, just black generic kind of look. You got the cross hatching of the material; it's all sculpted, um, no soft goods. But I'm I'm fine with that. I mean, you've got the texture in there, like you see in the boots. Um, let's get that into focus for you. The boots and the trousers, the the top, the belt, the arm pieces, some stripes on there, you know, the kind of gloves and stuff like that. So in terms of the, the rest of the figure, I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I, I kind of thought that they would do that anyway. The helmet is where, you know, that's where the money is. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, where he had his helmet fixed, was one of the coolest things about um, that movie. And like seeing him with this helmet, I think is awesome. It kind of, it really brought this helmet to kind of um, be in the same sphere as Darth Vader. Of like, oh okay, now he's you know now he's a Sith Lord. He's 
he's not just a, a an apprentice or a pretender or a, um you know a a child with you know have who has the odd tantrum um but it, i mean it looks fantastic the actual design of his helmet anyway was good but i really like the integration of where it was shattered and they used the the art um it's a it's a japanese art i forget the name but it's um they used to do it with um armor um in ancient japan sort of um sort of samurai armor things like that um and they've sort of encapsulated you know encapsulated that with this um with the red and it looks really good um yeah so moving on to um articulation i mean like supreme leader kylo ren looks fantastic he's got a lot of presence um but let's see what um movement he's got in terms of at the feet he's got a pretty fantastic toe point it's seamless really um not much to budge got a very good toe point as well so a really good start um, moving up to uh, the knees you can see the double joint and he will go up there the tunic kind of um, will, will bend and move but yeah he's got a fantastic um, bit of leg articulation uh, the knee joint is is covered with kind of the trouser texture so that's good um, but obviously when you're doing a shot where his knee is exposed like that you're not going to be able to hide that that joint but that's kind of the nature of what we do so in terms of toy photography you can either um, you know you can be um, a wizard with the editing process or you can just let it be um, uh, you know unless you want to kind of hide it with certain angles which is always a good thing is to tr try and find angles which make the shot look more realistic and give it you know a, a dynamic feel that also help by kind of hiding any um, little joints and things like that um, that you might see uh, to keep it um, you know feeling real and, and feeling like it's a, uh, a glimpse at you know the real thing from the movie <clears throat> excuse me um moving up i mean you've got this split tunic sorry if i can get that to focus for you and um, we've got that split tunic up here and then it's not split at the back so there is a little bit of, of uh kind of give but he won't go any further than that in terms of um the split his legs will it's just more the fact that the tunic won't um and you could do something about that again i'm gonna leave mine Oh god, itchy nose. Excuse me. Um, my hay fever is not doing well. Um, you've got some pivoting in the thighs. If I can see that in focus. Um, so you've got some range there too, and he will go kind of forward back. He's got some good range of motion in the the hip area here. If I can get that in focus. It's just this tunic that kind of gets in the way, but for the most part, the leg's pretty good. Um, moving up to the waist, he will pivot. Um, at the waist and then at the shoulders he will get to 90 nice and easily and t-pose for you uh, look at that helmet looks awesome um, the the shoulders though the the torso just kind of overhangs so you don't get the um, extension past 90 is, is, is exactly stopped there obviously you can rotate 360 and that will give you that above the shoulder look but he won't be able to come in any further than that um, he can open up and kind of do the kind of um, flex look at the elbow and you can kind of manipulate it that way um, but because of that shoulder overhang it's not fantastic range of motion at the shoulder um, at the elbow just past 90 pretty standard um, we've got wrist pivot as well um, and there is no uh, kind of no pull to pivot there um, just because again of the overhang but the overhang is kind of part of his outfit and, and shaping of the body so it's kind of something you can't really do anything about if you want to uh, make the figure look like the character it's one of those things um, you know sometimes things don't scale down completely um, because of the way things are shaped and stuff like that um, so moving up to the head though what they've done with the helmet is 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 for the benefit I think they haven't tried to put a I'm going to focus haven't tried to put a head sculpt under there um, they've left it kind of like the old school Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett where it's like more of the uh, kind of bucket on the peg rather than on a head uh, a head sculpt underneath so you get some nice tilt side to side you get 360 really good chin to chest um, looking down and then good looking up um, and you've got some 
waist pivot so you can kind of do some things there but because of that um, that's some really good uh, articulation and you've got that kind of tilt it's kind of like what we talk about the Mandalorian figures and the Mandalorian TV series when you've got a helmet you have to be able to portray emotion uh, and kind of the feeling without seeing someone's face and sometimes that's quite hard um, but to be able to sort of twist you know and diagonally sort of lean something um, can really give you like a for example like an inquisitive look um, you can be looking down on something looking quite you know angry looking up to something and being quite you know inspired by that there's all sorts of things you can do with kind of helmet tilt and placement um, so in terms of articulation Kylo's pretty good um, in terms of versatility it's Kylo Ren um, and it's supreme leader Kylo Ren at that so the old Kylo Ren figures are good in their own right but they are they are lacking in in some aspects all of them have something going on that's just like mm, not sure with well, this one I love the use of the helmet so you could say that it's quite limited in terms of the era but then when we came into the Rise of Skywalker movie we did see him basically in and amongst his um, you know his travels and ventures with the Knights of Ren trying to look for the holocron and stuff like that and various other things so you could widen that to you know excuse me loads of different shots um, toy photography wise you know be really creative as to what, what he's been doing and where he's been going um, in terms of a display he's he's dynamic looking and, and that's kind of where that cape will come in if you're just looking for presence um, but you know he's a great looking figure and a great character I mean Adam Driver again like I said I think he was you know he was one of the the kind of saving graces of the sequel trilogy um, I think that he would have um, he would have fit into any of the eras of Star Wars he just got it um, he's a very dedicated actor and a dedicated man um, so I, I would like to see more I mean I, I would imagine that Disney Plus are sort of toying with the, the idea of um, you know a series about Kylo Ren and, and him coming up and the Knights of Ren um, or you know what he was doing in between those those um, movies like we were just discussing now um, or even like a Ben Solo you know his childhood and, and that sort of stuff um, and kind of finding his way uh, to the Sith and how that happened. Um, again, it's one of those things where at, this, at the moment with the Disney kind of um, control of all the Star Wars stuff, you can't rule anything out. Um, at the same time, just because it's a great idea doesn't mean uh, <laughs> it's going to happen. Um, you know, The Mandalorian, we didn't see it coming, but it was a great idea. It's it's been really well done actually to their credit but I mean it's one of those things where they can sell it you know um, and they would have to weigh up um, you know what 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 they trying to achieve here um, I would certainly watch it because it's a Star Wars content but I think I would just be also I'm just interested in in uh, Adam Driver's portrayal of um, Kylo and, and, and Ben Solo at that um, so yeah I think it's uh, it's a figure worth picking up because it's it's the best of the Kylo Ren's um, in my opinion, um, and it's not going to be around for for long. I would imagine. I'm sure down the line there'll be carbonized versions and all because that you know Hasbro work with um, all sorts of um, brands and companies and and nothing is ever truly the last release of something. Really, um, you know we've seen the archive wave this year that has just kind of come back which you know I'm thankful for because I wasn't collecting when that came out and also it's you know it's been released now where the standards are higher and capabilities are higher as well um, so you know uh, might be worth a pick up um, if you don't if you, you don't want to wait um, but uh, I definitely think that it's it's a good addition to the collection and I'm glad to have it uh, in terms of a score the articulations it's it's okay um, the look of the figure is awesome. The accessories, lightsabers are cool. I think this, the cape, the sculpted cape, is is good, but it could have been better. I think they could have gone the route of um, soft goods, even if they'd have combined soft goods with the rubber to make the bottom flow maybe and make the top sculpted and stuff like that. Um, but who knows? Um, so I'm going to give him an eight out of ten. Uh, I love the character, um, but I just think that the uh, the the figure is is great but it just leaves some to be desired so maybe in the future we'll get um a variant of of supreme leader kylo ren so um i hope 
you enjoyed this video guys and I hope it was informative. Do leave a comment if you have any questions and do leave a like and subscribe to the channel as mentioned uh, for plenty of content to come. So as always guys I'm going to leave you with that one. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.